Are you a Hotmail user? I'm Hans Lisklimt. I'm the founder of Runbox.com, an email service located in Norway. Now, I'd like to suggest to you that Hotmail is not safe. Why is that? It's not a technical issue because the Microsoft people are good. They're on top of things technically. It's because Microsoft is a U.S. company. It's located in the U.S. Hotmail is located in the U.S. The servers are located in the U.S. and they're under U.S. jurisdiction. That's the problem because the U.S. is quickly becoming a police state. If you've been following what's going on online, you see that the U.S. government is doing all kinds of stuff to snoop into people's privacy, looking into emails and monitoring digital traffic, issuing subpoenas for all kinds of reasons, and really not abiding by any digital privacy rules at all. They're, they see themselves as uh, supreme masters able to do anything, and it's just getting worse and worse. And remember, the email that you send and receive today using Hotmail will be on this server in the U.S. forever. It will be there five years from now, ten years from now, twenty years from now. So the U.S. government can make a profile of you anytime they like for the rest of your life. And they will. Believe me, they will. The way for you to protect yourself is to get your email out of the U.S. Get your email on servers that are located out of the U.S. And get your email on hosted by companies that are not uh, by in the U.S. And, and under a U.S. jurisdiction. So you want to find yourself a company that's located you know, far away, preferably in a, a safe country a western country that has you know laws uh, abide by laws and not an anarchy but a good safe country and i suggest that norway is such a country where my company runbox is located runbox servers are located in norway and under u uh, norwegian jurisdiction not us jurisdiction so if the us government wants to look into the email account of any one of our customers they have to send a letter to us and I reserve the right to personally evaluate all those requests that are coming in. And recently, I actually turned down a request with something about a domain name dispute in the U.S. And there was a U.S. court that had issued a subpoena. They wanted to look into one of my customers. And I said no. I just sent a letter back, said no. I d did a personal evaluation of this request. And I find that we cannot follow up on that. I haven't heard from them since. And they don't have jurisdiction over me because I'm based in Norway and not in the U.S. So I personally evaluate that. Maybe if there was another one concerning child pornography or something nasty, I might make another decision. But for that one, I said no. And I will do that in the future for ridiculous cases where the U.S. government is abusing their powers to over people. I believe digital privacy is extremely important. So I want you to look up Runbox and consider your personal privacy uh, around email. Look up Runbox, www.runbox.com. You'll find the link on the side of the video here. Sign up for a free account for 30 days. And then after you pay the $49.95 per year to have that email, uh, you have 60 days um, of um, ability to f get a full refund. So try it out and consider your personal privacy for the long run. This is really something you have to take responsibility for yourself. Runbox.com. Thanks.